yang Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of the DJ Sound Show. I don't need to give this guy any introduction at all. Please welcome to the show, <laughs> Mr. Carl Cox. How are you doing, Carl? I'm very well, Dan. Uh, glad to be back once again here, here at uh, the DJ Pioneer uh, Studios. It's lovely here, isn't it? I do like it. I feel at home when I come here. Oh, good. You know? <laughs> I good. Do, yeah. Well, you know, we try and make it nice. <laughs> so, uh, how have you been? How have you been? I mean, I just look at your tour diary and it's, it's non-stop. Yeah, I mean, I did have a little bit of time off in Australia like I do every year. And, you know, I get to uh, to kind of relax a little bit there. And I'll still end up doing a few festivals and a couple of clubs, of course. <laughs> but primarily, you know, it's the idea to kick back, you know, recharge the batteries. And then, and then well, you know, after the new year, you know, is upon yeah. us. And then get, get back into collecting new music, seeing what's uh, going on out there in the, in the DJ world. And, uh, of course, you know, obviously we have a lot of uh, new programs that are coming up now with a lot of new devices and things like that and uh, you know it's it's like it's kind of like you know i kicked back and then i'll come head first into the lion's den you're you know, hungry of, of everything but i'm hungry for it all and and the thing is everyone still wants me to come and and, and play everywhere and, and yeah. to do everything and i have to really choose my gigs very carefully uh, and, and also the the traveling aspect of what i do yeah. you know it's, it's a big thing because you know, you know i don't want to burn out before every minute opportunity to start <laughs> yeah, exactly. even the season in our but people, you're doing so. a lot of school nights aren't you <laughs> a lot of school nights for some reason fabric when we when i my first, one of my first parties uh, at Fabric um, with John Mundell of course yeah. with Intech Records was unbelievable you know full packed people going crazy and in some but ways it's quite nice because those school nights you know that you've got real committed people rather than just uh yeah, you know, people rocking up on the weekend going, yeah, oh, you know, exactly. Carl's over there, so yeah. I'll just see what he's doing, you know, yeah. for a half an hour. Um, oh, no, we finished at, uh, I I went on at 1 o'clock, I think, no, 12.30, right. and finished at 4.30 in the morning, and it was still busy. <laughs> you know, this was like Thursday yeah. night into Friday morning. Fantastic. And uh, I played in Paris last week, and uh, again, that was on a Wednesday night, and that was full. Um, I don't know, something's going on with these school nights. I was in Vienna, Vienna yeah. and I played a party on a Tuesday night, 800 people to 1,000 people packed with uh, Philippe, uh, Philippe Straub and uh, Oliver Hunterman. It was just, it's, for some reason, the school yeah. nights are, are becoming more, uh, uh, I would say, uh, well attended than the weekend parties at the looks of things. Nice, nice. Now, obviously, summer's approaching. Space, can you break the news? Um, yes, I can break the news that uh, uh, we are running 14 nights now and uh, 14 weeks. When I started, I don't, I don't know if many people remember this, but it was only six nights that I wanted to do there. And um, and then it ended up, to, after two two years, going from six to eight. And then from from that, we went from eight to ten, and then, <laughs> then ten to twelve. And we stuck at twelve for three years. Is, uh, because it's long enough to be over there you know every yeah. week it, it's kind of you know I, I like the opening parties of what I do and I like the end of the parties because every week I have to you know step up every Tuesday yeah because you know, you've got game. people who are on the <laughs> island only for that very short amount of time yes. and they want Carl Cox to deliver them you know yeah. their, their kind of annual peak don't they absolutely you know, yeah. rather than you know, seven weeks in, or it would have been great if you were here on the on the first night. So yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. So. And so I have to step it up the game every single week. And now I've extended that to 14 weeks <laughs> and put more onus on myself. But it's great, you know, and the idea of us doing 14 is because the public demands it. They're the ones that want, to, yeah. want me to do more. So here it is. So on our first night there, um, I do have Danny Tenaglia and a few other great DJs playing mm. for the opening. But I'm also doing uh, my opening 10-hour set there. Yeah. So that's going to be great. Because the last time I did it was on our 10th anniversary. Yeah, you don't need it to be a birthday anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I thought, well... You know, we can have a whole multitude of DJs coming and playing, but this, I've got so much music to play. Yeah. And I, and I really want to set a precedent of what can happen and what should be happening on the island and the club itself. And, uh, yeah, why not? You know, let's celebrate the, the opening of our night in, in fine fashion. And, and I'll just, as soon as you walk in, I'm on. And as soon as you finish, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now, 
It's another DJ Sounds mix. What have you got planned for us, or is it a surprise? Uh, some of it's going to be a little bit of a surprise because I'm actually going to be playing the Southport Weekender uh, uh, coming up, and it's their 50th anniversary of them right. doing their party. So you've got your 20th anniversary, you got their 50th, and I've got so many great classic records to play as well, which I'm going to dive into. Oh, nice. My record box. So let's see what comes out, and I'm yeah. just going to mix them in freestyle. So because so we had the album mix, that's right, uh, yes. that was in 2011, then at ADE, we did the album remix that's right uh, sort of live show at ADE yes and then um, last year we just went full throttle didn't we we did yeah you know we just wanted a proper you Hoops know. bar, you know, yeah. kind of how to techno music, cold Cox at full throttle, and I think this one is a bit more light-hearted, um, yeah. but still, you know, with good energy and and, and good emotion and, and feel to the to the mix. Um, but also, I think it'd be just nice for people to just hear that I'm actually going into my record box and yeah. actually, you know, like how I used to in the old days, just pull them out, yeah, um, <laughs> stick them on. So that's the idea. Well, I think you ought to step round the other side and just <laughs> lay it down. All right, oh, yeah, I'd love to do it. All right, check it out.
real hype. So step and we'll make it sweat, make it wet. Yeah, bet. I just love this house track. In fact, it's a high level track. 89's a year. House music is in your ear. Home girls looking pretty from all around the city. Home boys are you in store to do the wild thing on the dance floor. You know I'm gonna grab a girl. Home boys do the same. Freak that ass, no time for shame. If you wanna know the name. For those who like the groove For those who like the groove Catch the tempo, shake and slide, let the music be your guide. House this house, make some noise, girls go on and freak the boys. Jump, jump, touch the ceiling, twin heights got you in that feeling. Hot as hot, get sweat, dripping and keeping your wet. Twin heights has got you in check, so damn, till it's time to check. Shake your body about those cups, let the fellas know what's up. In case you make it, twin hype is on the move, for those who like the groove. For those who like the groove
<laughs> that that was special. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well, what I thought, you know, just dive into the record crate. Don't have any plans. Don't think about it. Just see what you can basically put together. You know, without having to. You know, I love doing that. I mean, that's always been my way and my style, and and I never know what is what's going to come out. But yeah. you know, there's some great records there, some great music, and don't be scared to play some of the old ones because some of the old ones are still the best ones. You know? Exactly. I mean, that last track, Jupiter Jazz, you yeah. know, uh, Underground Resistance, still one of the best records ever made. Yeah. You know, I mean, not many DJs are playing that kind of music anymore, but it's there. And when you do hear it, to a lot of the people that are listening to music today, that sounds fresh. Yeah. So, so fantastic. Expanding though. minds. Yeah, yeah. And on that note, we spoke a year ago about you playing the main stage at EDC. Yes. And about planting those techno seeds. <laughs> One year on, where we at? Yeah, um, there's more techno parties now within festivals than there, than there has been in, in previous years because people can see the value in the music and the, and, the, and the artists and the DJs that are behind that music. So it's started to balance out a little bit now based on what people are going for when it comes to these, yeah. these type of festivals. Um, my performance at EDC in Vegas was not an easy task 
um, but they did try very hard to you know to try and preach to the unconverted and right. uh, and to get them to understand that there's more water in the well of this yeah. type of this, this type of music <laughs> yeah and uh, they did put on Mark Knight first and then they had Richie Horton after Mark and then after Mark was myself and for me what I tried to to do was just kind of like get people to understand that the, the, one of the reasons why I'm here is because of this sound the, the techno the, the the house music the energy of what I create is primarily is, is, is what I do and what the music is about and uh, and not not trying to pander to the ways of the reason why people put their hands in the air with certain yeah. records that come out you know and uh, it's too easy for me to do that I mean I'm still <laughs> kind of sweating away here because I'm working really hard to make sure that those those mixes are in place and I don't know I don't know if people notice but I didn't use any of the sync today um, and be one of the reasons is because a lot of the old records don't like sync yeah <laughs> so well they're made by machines aren't they that's and so right. they're kind of undulating they, and the they machines do, have a bit of a humanity to them they do they? wander so but that's 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 what a DJ is all about. You have to, yeah. you know, chase chase the rhythm, roll chase, chase the groove, and uh, and just roll with it. You know, some records you can you can have sync yeah. and you can put it in and you can you know you feel happy with. Oh my God, it's locked in. <laughs> <laughs> but the fun the, the fun is 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 that you get on them and you you know you you, you make yeah. it work and then you feel a lot more. Uh, gratification once you do get that to happen and in that mix right there there was a lot of that going on um, yeah. but I, I love the fact that I'm able to you know mix and match all this music together I had no plan of what I was going to do today but what I, what I do know I had a lot of fun doing I it. mean something else I want to bring up you said that um, no one plays a track anymore they're just <laughs> playing loops now yeah. is it this phrase haunting you that you said in that interview sort of people bring it up you know it, it's something that you firmly believe in yeah, absolutely. I mean, even today, I mean, I, I try to cram in uh, quite a lot of, of music or based on how it was made in the first place. And I can wait for eight, nine minutes. Yeah. I don't mind, you know, because the record, it, it, it's, it should be doing its job, you know. And, and yeah, of course, it, it's nice to loop the, the beginning, the middle yeah. and the end. But if you just hear constant loops all the time on every single record you're playing, yeah. you're not hearing the but tune. Stuff's got to breathe, hasn't it? Some of it has. And, and I I mean, oh, yes, I'm coming from the old school, but I'm also coming from the new school as well. I'm using, utilizing both elements of of the of performance based on you know yeah. what you're listening to and i like the idea that you can do the loops and you can chop things up and you know for sure what you saw there was a few loops going yeah. as well <laughs> But especially, I mean, if you, I don't know if anyone else has, has tried to mix in the Mighty Dubcats. That's definitely not one of the easiest I mean, records to mix in <laughs> at all. And here I am mixing that record in. So <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was difficult when it was on vinyl, let alone sort of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Some people just get the front in and let it ride, you know, <laughs> and then get the end. But I was kind of mixing the middle of it as well. And I was mixing it on top of something that was quite straight up. And uh, yeah. But the fun is that when you get to hear it, you can hear that I'm working those mixes, yeah. working those tunes. And they're breathing. Uh, Rather than just kind of like a mix CD, which is very pleasurable to listen to because mm. you don't sometimes want kind of mixes undulating while you're listening to something like yeah. that. But a living, breathing performance like that, it wants to have a bit of life, doesn't I it? I think so. And and also, it's a live mix. It's like anything yeah. could happen, you know? You're going to hear the little pushes and pulls and stuff like that. If it's kind of completely yeah. you know, clinical and beat perfect, it can and does sound boring. Okay, now I'm going to go a little bit... A little bit off center with my next question okay <laughs> techno and the ride <laughs> now i mean it just seems so important doesn't it yeah, techno. The ride has always been important in the techno music, and it's quite funny now. It used to be cowbells before, <laughs> and now it's the ride. So you're going to yeah. be picking on something, and then there's going to be congas, and then there's going to be the kick, you know, <laughs> and there's going to be uh, the, the, the there's going to be kind of the effect on the kick. Yeah. <laughs> but the ride is is something that picks the record up. Yeah. You know? It's, it's something that goes way back, doesn't it? It goes way back. It, it's not new. It's never been new. Any 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 record that you hear when it comes to techno, as soon as you hear a ride, you go, woohoo! Yeah. All right, that's what. <laughs> going and, uh, and I think that's why it's called the ride because it yeah. feels like you're on top of that <laughs> you know on, on, on the roller coaster of whatever tune that, that you hear a ride on a lot of my music when you hear a lot of my mixes they all got rides on yeah. <laughs> it's not a conscious it's not a conscious I've got to put a ride in yeah because sometimes you used to, you've utilizing all of your elements of percussion yeah. so you think what else can I do the bit ah yeah <laughs> that, that's where i want to go to the next yeah. level put a ride in and it changes everything but it, people people still love it it doesn't get old and it's quite cool that people have picked up on it at long last <laughs> <laughs> great well we need to round this up obviously how can people get a hold of you online 
uh, Twitter, Facebook, yeah, SoundCloud, all the yeah, all the normal, all, all, all the normal all the usual suspects. stuff. You can still go onto Carlcox.com. You can still get onto Twitter, and you can still get my global shows on there as well. Um, for me, I mean, you know, the social media has become a big part of of what I do as well. And uh, and what's really cool now is that people are tuning in there; they're, they're getting into it, and even more so, you know, far and wide. It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. <laughs> thank it's you. It's been really, really great. <laughs> Real you. pleasure. So, Absolutely. Until next time. <laughs> Till next time. So this is Dante signing out. Thank you very much, Carl Cox, for coming on the DJ Sound Show again. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>